adaptation and agriculture took center stage at COP27 in Egypt today. The reality is that we are not on track to deal with current climate impacts, nor are we prepared for the extreme weather events that are increasing in number and intensity. Adaptation is in dire need for practical and implementable solutions and technologies that can be easily transferred to the developing world. Innovations around infectious diseases to safeguarding against floods, insurance tools and capitalizing on progress in sensor technologies demonstrated how technology can better serve us in adapting to climate change. The role of AI and data analytics in early warning systems and in reducing the aftermath of droughts and floods in countries exposed to climate change was also a focal point of the day. Many discussions took place on how to increase climate finance contributions for agriculture and food systems, especially targeting the most vulnerable countries. De-risking schemes of how to promote rural and agricultural finance in order to find ways to increase affordable finance for smallholder farmers received a lot of attention. Climate change is not only affecting the farmers, but um, it's also affecting the bank, you know. So if you look at our, um, our farming client base, um, they make up a fair proportion of our lending and, uh, you know, therefore it makes absolute sense uh, uh, for the bank to focus on this. And, and what I can say is that I think climate change is probably the biggest risk facing farmers going forward. We do have these short term hiccups, you know, the pandemic and you could argue sometimes uh, uh, there's a uh, like a flood, for, for example, which makes us focus short term. But longer term, I think climate change is such a big issue and farmers need to tackle that. And as banks, we need to help them. I think from an agricultural perspective, um, it's important that commercial banks and providers of finance in the sector look at the sector very, very responsibly. We, we, are, we are sitting in a, in, in, a, in a world where we know that food production on the African continent needs to double. And the last thing we can do is to actually approach this without taking into consideration the fact that agriculture is the largest user of water and soil. Um, those resources we cannot neglect. So, so it's the responsibility of the financiers in terms of the sector to make sure that this food security issue is approached very, very responsibly and carefully. The role of multinational telecommunications companies was also elevated as being essential to creating climate smart agriculture and resilient food initiatives. Ultimately, technology is without a doubt the underpin to helping accelerate adaptation to climate change and to helping farmers produce more with less on less.